What's up fellas, Exotic here. The time has come, the rattle noise is back, so listen carefully. Can you hear that fellas? So yeah, first things first, I need to untape this because I'm not using the screw. You know, the screw can damage my adapter, I don't want that. You see the, the base is bolted here by two bolts. I'm gonna unscrew these, we're gonna pop this base from here, from the desk. We're gonna get it here on the couch and I'm gonna do a full maintenance today. I'm gonna disassemble and assemble it. I'm gonna do a full showcase with the GoPro as I have now a GoPro. Uh, what you remove, what to do and so on. Uh, the most important thing is to lubricate. I'm just gonna put the lubricant again on the belt. This will be my second time I open this base. So I have my tools ready, so let us begin. All right, fellas, so we have unbolted the base. As you can see here, I have the, the two bolts with the desk clamp which i just use for extra support you know i always like to uh put as many things to make it sturdy as long as it's not annoying uh here you can see the electric tape for uh, the, to hold the adapter together or you know what we're gonna start from here so we're gonna start from these ones you can see i've already broke my tools here and um, this is actually a kit uh, for uh, disassembling and basically fixing mobiles and I'm actually gonna use it for, fellas, for the base. So I guess it's not only for mobiles, you know. So I'm gonna use the kit for your mobile phone to fix my goddamn base. You know what, fellas? I'm gonna use this. All right. So we're gonna start with these here. Make sure to always bring where to leave the screws, fellas. all right we've removed the four screws man that was a headache because this screwdriver seems to be effed up in the head and yeah had to use the different one all right so we gotta remove this there you go now we've removed this cover so in order to open the top we have to remove these three here if i am not mistaken and i think i'm not so but before we do that because these are very easy i want to start with the hex heads so i'm gonna use the small screwdriver to remove the hexes we have how many we have four here you can see four here we have two in the front, one here, one here. We have another four here on the side. And on the back of the base, we have uh, we have one, two, three big. And uh, fellas, make sure to not touch these four here. They're for the ventilator. So they're for the fan. My bad. So, <clears throat> so don't touch the fan let it be let me check the condition of this because i'm just curious as i can see everything seems fine i don't see any issues with it all right let's find the perfect fit and start removing these hex thingies so hex 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 what could it be maybe this is it this ha huh. come on man you can't be for real i hit it just on eye on just on eye side i hit it from first time you can't be serious man okay we remove the four screws uh from here also one thing i want to mention fellas a lot of people said like these uh screws are very bad quality they snap i'm not saying they're good quality but i can guarantee you when I was placing, the, f the first time I was placing back the top cover, I'm telling you, it has to snap. You will feel and you will see there is a very small gap here. There should be no gap. So if you misplace it and you force the screw, it's gonna snap. So keep in mind, it's not always the fault of the base. It could be your fault as well. So be very careful. There shouldn't be any gap here. It should be literally touching so 
there must be no gap at all. You will see, you will see. When I remove the screws, you will see. All right. Going to the side. Okay. Let me check on the back now. These big ones, big ones. Okay, so it seems I have, I don't have a hex that was close to be the same size as the one I needed. So let's see if we can find fellas a hex that will match these three here. There we go. I think we found, there we go. Yes, we found a hex. Great. Come on, there we go. Okay, I think we have everything out except these three here. So, uh, let's remove them. Let's get rid of these three here. And this is the third one and we should be able to open the top. Whoop, there you go, hey. That was not that hard, is it? There we go. Oh man, this is messy. Holy shit. That was not that messy the last time I checked it. What has happened here? Look, look how much uh, crap is here. What is this? What's that? Okay, so I grabbed some stuff, fellas. I got the lubricant here. I've got the, the duster. But before I dust, like the, the first rule is before you go with wet towels and whatever, you always dust so you can remove the dust. Because if you go with the wet towel, then the, the whole purpose of dusting, you're not going to blow anything off because it's wet now. But I don't have anything wet now. So I got cotton buds and I want before I start dusting because I don't want to dust this on the bottom of the base. I want to remove whatever crap is this i don't know is this like plastic pieces this this seems to be honestly just just some crap generated over time these this black dusty thing so let me let me at least clean a bit from that i want to clean as much as possible before i dust it because it's gonna go on the bottom of the base so I, eventually it will generate a lot of boot down there all right, I think you can start dusting now. So, also one advice, fellas, never shake the bottle. If you shake the bottle, the liquid gas on the bottom is gonna spray and you don't want liquid here on any or either of the, the motor here or just any circuit board and stuff. So very important advice, don't, don't over angle it because the liquid will pop to the top and uh, again same effect will happen <laughs> guys this reminds me of rx7 <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh again i'm doing dumb ass <laughs> this is so fun okay okay enough enough uh <laughs> enough stupid crap <laughs> Man, this is funny. I mean, if you make your time cleaning and maintaining your equipment fun, then I think it's all worth it. <laughs> Man, this is hilarious. Bro. I'm such a monkey. 
<laughs> oh, this is fun. All right. Let me clean a bit about just to the bottom because usually on the bottom is where dust and stuff pops up. So I want to clean. I'm not going to touch the circuit boards, but I want to clean. I see so much dust here. So I want to clean around the dust very carefully. Look at all this dust where the quick release is covered. Man. The only thing I hate about TSXW is this so stupid crappy mechanism of the screw. Why would you put such a low man? So now we have this belt here making the noise. So let's check. Can you hear that? It's this goddamn belt, man. Let me get the lubricant. I'm going to spray very small. Give me a fresh on the clean. Let's spray it. Let's spray it. I see it's completely lubricated. So start applying here on the full belt. There we go. No rattling anymore. So I'm gonna go clean up myself now. And then once I clean myself up, we're gonna, I'm gonna just check again for any dust or anything. If I have to clean anything else, then we're gonna proceed into assembling. I'm gonna check, clean up the desk if there's uh, any dust or something. And I'm gonna start assembling the wheel again. All right, fellas, so I'm moving a bit here, rotating and getting the lubricant to go all over the belt and uh, over this gearing thing. So everything seems to be fine. I think we're looking good. So I feel like I'm ready to close the base. So again, same process as before. My advice will be, as, as one person commented on my first video, <laughs> he said craftsmanship or some stuff like that. I mean, I, I don't refuse, like I completely agree. This is craftsmanship at its finest, but it does the job. <laughs> That's the purpose. It's craftsmanship. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, I just do a basic maintenance, open the base, I dust, I use wet towel if I can to grab whatever's left of the dust. Uh, so dusting, cleaning, then lubricating this belt piece here because it's making noise. So now it's not only my wheel is going to be smoother now with the movement of the belt, but it's also not going to have any annoying noises. And this was bothering me from like a month or a month and a half. Uh, this noise was back. So when the noise is back, I know I have to open the wheel. Uh, so let's go ahead and assemble this thing together. So we're going to start by course putting the top in and let me show you what's the deal with the top files. So how I know if I have aligned this properly, let's get it right now placing the oh yeah yeah these needs to the, these things need to go behind and this thing oh crap <laughs> man okay my advice would be don't put that much of a pressure so once you've put the top in i remember the first time i i didn't manage to put the the top to be fully fully touching now you can see here here on the side might be a little bit of play. Maybe here on this side might be a little of play. Make sure it's equal. Make sure it's equal. So once it's equal, fellas, we can start to put this thing together. Also, one thing how you will know it's not aligned perfectly. You see these three holes here? This, this, and this one is where we put the these white, white ones. So let's actually start with them. That's my uh, my proposal for you fellas. Not too tight. Don't want to mess up anything. Don't over tighten it. Just enough. Yeah, you see, that's just enough. All right. Once we've placed these three, I'd like to place the the three big ones that were uh, on the back supposedly so you see now we have misalignment here why is the misalignment happening it's because 
these things are not perfectly down and not touching perfectly. Why? There's only one answer to that. We need to tighten them by putting the screws. So actually we're not starting with the, the ones on the back. So these four are for the front one. So we need these ones. So I'm gonna lower this thing. The thing is, if I put the front ones, if I put the front ones, we'll have a lot of pressure in the front. This is gonna lift off the back. So I see here, yep. You see, this hole is absolutely not aligned. So that's a big problem. That's where your screws are going to snap, fellas. This is the only problematic part. This is the only problematic part. So I'm gonna find holes that actually align well, and I'm gonna catch them with these things so we can put some leverage on the back. Come on, you can go in, I'm sure of you. There you go, because I need you to bring this thing down. Now where's the, there you go. Where's the other one? There you go. I'm also applying pressure on the top so this goes down. You need to apply pressure so you can equal the hole. Otherwise, if you just push the screw in, you know that's where your screw gets popped up and you have to uh, figure then uh, where to find a new screw and so on. You see, fellas, that's, that's mainly where the problem comes from. It was not, honestly, the hole here was not perfect, but maybe I didn't angle the bolt well. Uh, so, all right, let's see how are the holes looking right now. Yeah, that's, now that's better. So basically, you will avoid snapping of the screws on the side. Make sure to watch for the holes. If the holes are not aligned correctly, don't force the screws in, they will snap. Put these front three here, then you start putting uh, putting the three on the back, and I suggest putting the, the horizontal ones, then you put the top one. And once you check that the, these are aligned, if they are not and they just need a tiny touch, you can push the top in so it goes down and you can, uh, you can literally put the, the screws in. All right, four on the, on the other side. Let's look at the holes. Hole seems perfect. I'm gonna also squeeze on top, just in case. I'm also gonna squeeze on the top. Okay, did I miss one here? Oh yeah. The two front ones, we're almost done, fellas. See, even though it's a line, I still apply pressure on the top. I just never know. I play it like this, better safe than sorry. And we're left with only this thing. So let's go ahead and place it. All right, fellas, so basically this is it. We have it assembled again and uh, I've just started cleaning some of the, the mess and the garbage that I have around here uh, in this bag here as well. I've uh, readied my desk, checked, cleaned, but most importantly, fellas, we have the base ready. It's maintained, it's lubricated. It just waits to be bolted on the desk and it's good to go. That's it gonna be for today. This really took me uh, a lot of time. I would have been done already a long time ago, but of course I wanted to film this for you. So if it helps someone, it helps someone. Uh, it's probably gonna be a long video because uh, I had to explain each step and so on. I'm not just going straight forward. I wanna give you advice. I wanna give you information, what to do if it's your first time and so on. So I'm not gonna prolong anymore. That's it gonna be for today. Please subscribe, like the video, share it with other people if you know that they have Trustmaster and so on. I hope this helps you and we'll see you in the next video.